Hi, I'm Andrew Catalano, founder of Smart Biology. And in this video, we'll learn about the third and final element behind how we achieve our mission, showing students the interconnectivity behind all of the topics we teach. So finally, one of the most important aspects of all of this is showing students the interconnectivity between these different topics. In our intro bio series, we have five units, cells, energy, genetics, evolution, and ecology. Looking at unit one as an example, we start in the subatomic world and we work our way up from there, uh, one level at a time, so students can understand how each level is a manifestation of the level below. There's a clear linear progression as students embark on this continuous journey, not only uh, through each unit, but sorry, not only, yeah, not only, not only within each unit, uh, but also between the five units as well. Looking back at the traditional approach, uh, for example, in this image, we can see protons and electrons on the top. Uh, and then as we work our way down, the representation changes with each level. We've got ATP and stick formats, we've got circles and squares, and then some type of star. So it's left to the student's imagination to relate one image to the next uh, in order to understand the big picture of what they're really looking at. In contrast, our life series shows this continuity. For example, on this clip, we can see uh, a seamless transition from a single protein or protein complex in this case uh, to an entire E. coli cell. So this not only gives students a great sense of scale, um, but it also allows them to understand these different worlds, the atomic, molecular, cellular, as one continuum, as opposed to discrete levels. In this video, we, we zoom in from an entire cell to the edge of a mitochondrion and then continue to a single protein in the ETC. So same idea. We can even show organelles like the ER, the Golgi, uh, with all of their macromolecules present. If we're gonna show these bare organelles on their own, that's fine. Uh, students at least need to first see everything in context so they can appreciate the scale of these events taking place. Oh, okay. 